Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne, I'm a certified RV inspector, and today we're going to be talking about the Mercedes Sprinter RV chassis. The good, the bad, and the ugly. One of the hottest selling segments of the RV industry is Class B and Class B Plus RVs. So I've made some videos on these kind of RVs. Here's a video I made a while back on Class B RVs, and it discusses the pros and the cons of them. Here's another video I made just recently on Class B Plus RVs, and uh, tried to help define what they really are, first of all, and then provide the pros and the cons of them as well. So the purpose of those videos is to really help you if you're thinking about maybe looking into this kind of RV, it will help you make a decision whether something like this will even fit for you or not. And a lot of people really like these smaller, more nimble RVs. The most popular chassis out there for this part of the RV industry is the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. And Mercedes updated the chassis in 2019 to the VS30, and it's being used currently on a lot of Class B and B plus RVs. Some people love this chassis, and some people really don't. So let's discuss it. Let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. And we'll start with the good, the Sprinter chassis pros. And the biggest pro for this chassis is that diesel engine. Yes, the diesel engine is going to give you very good fuel mileage. In fact, a lot of Sprinter owners say that they average between 15 to 17 miles per gallon between uh, around town and on the highway. And for an RV, uh, that's fantastic. That's a lot of savings on fuel. The other thing that's great about this engine is its longevity. There's several of these that have gone over 500,000 miles, and it's not uncommon at all to see those that get three to 400,000 miles on the engine before any major work has to be done. So that's a big pro. Now, the second pro is safety. If you are really safety conscious, and there's a lot of folks like that out there, well, you're going to love this chassis because Mercedes really loaded it up with safety features. Things like lane keeping assist, blind spot warning, braking assist, and on and on and on. It's really a great RV for safety features. And that's good because Honestly, in the RV industry, that's something that's often lacking. So the, this particular chassis takes care of that. The next pro is that it's so easy to drive and maneuver. A lot of Sprinter owners talk about that, how easy it is to drive and get around the high quality feel that this chassis gives you. And because of that, and because it fits well into a lot of parking spaces, you may not even need to take a second vehicle with you on your RV travels. And that's a big pro. The next pro is that this chassis, especially in the Class B, provides a lot of headroom. So for you taller people, you can still manage to walk down the middle of the RV without doing that big stoop over that a lot of folks have to do in Class B RVs. Plus, the chassis can come in lengths of up to 25 feet. So you can get a lot of living space in this chassis. The next pro, great resale value. I mean, there's a general perception out there that this chassis is high quality, has a lot of great technology in it, and people are willing to pay more for it on the used market. And that's better than other comparable chassis. All right, now those are the pros I wanted to cover. Let's talk about the cons. And this is the main con that you really want to think about. That is, this chassis 
is expensive to buy, to maintain, and to repair. Now, the whole point about expensive to buy, remember I said it has a great resale value? Well, you're gonna pay more for it up front too. So that's kind of the offset on that. But in this particular chassis, I highly recommend do the maintenance. This is something that a lot of Mercedes chassis owners talk about. You better keep up with the maintenance that the factory suggests and that way you can avoid a lot of really expensive repairs because if you don't, you're going to face those repairs. Now, the maintenance itself is not going to be cheap on this chassis, but it's much better than the high repairs that you'll face without maintaining it. And really any repair can be expensive on this chassis. The other thing is sometimes parts are hard to get for the chassis as well. So that is all a con. Now the second con I'm gonna talk about relates to that, and that is you may want to manage your repair costs on this particular kind of RV. And if you do, then an extended warranty could be a way to do that, but keep in mind that that's going to cost you as well. So that can be a con. The next con is that it can really be difficult to find repair facilities for these chassis at times, especially depending on the area that you're in. In fact, there are some states where owners say that it's almost impossible to find a repair facility in the entire state. And uh, certainly they're not very easy to come across. So that's something to consider. If you like to travel all across the country, you may find yourself in an area that doesn't have a lot of repair facilities for the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Now the next con is closely related to that. And that is that if you do find a repair facility that's local to you, very often you're gonna to have to wait a while to get in and get your RV chassis repaired. That's because again, there's so many of these chassis out there and so few repair facilities that very often owners talk about having weeks of having to wait for an appointment to get repairs made. So think about that. Now, the last con we wanna talk about today is that these chassis are very often prone to having very low cargo carrying capacity in them. It seems that the RV makers just load these chassis up with all kinds of extras and technology and amenities and things like that, because that's what people want. But the problem with that is that they very often load it up so much that there's very little room left for your cargo. And that's a real issue on some of these. It's that some of the Sprinter RVs are better at this than others. It depends on the maker. But one thing we can say for sure is, first of all, you've got to be a little frugal about what you're taking with you if you have one of these chassis RVs. But you also need to closely monitor your weight more often, more regularly than you do with other RVs. And that can be considered a con. All right, so those are the pros and the cons that I wanted to share with you today. Now, I have created a guidebook that will help you determine what are the better quality RV brands that make Class B RVs and Class B plus RVs. It could be very helpful for you uh, to help you zero in on those manufacturers that are higher quality. If you use that along with my new or used RV buying and inspection guide, well then it'll help you find a quality RV that also works well from the very first day of your ownership. So if you think those guidebooks would be helpful, I'm going to put links for them in the description of both the podcast and the video for you. Now, let me say this in conclusion. In spite of all the challenges that we talked about, the cons that we covered, the truth is that there are plenty of Sprinter chassis owners out there 
that really love these chassis. They love the way it handles, the way it performs, the feel, as I said before, the quality feel. They love the technology that comes with it. So don't let the cons entirely scare you away from it. What I recommend is use the pros and the cons that I gave you today, write them out, and then go down and determine what's higher priority for you. Which of these is more important to you than the others on both the pros and the cons? And then that way you can determine if a Mercedes Sprinter chassis RV really is a good fit for you or not. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.